Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had talked about the at rate query annotation in Spring Data JPA. So here in this video, we are going to talk about the special parameter handling. So if you go to the Spring Data official website, then you can see uh, in section 4.4.4 4. 4. special parameter handling. So when you define a query methods in your uh, repository interface then uh, like you can see they have given the various example like when you write a find by last name method uh, then you can pass the different parameter. So in all methods you can see first parameter is the last name but second parameter you can see in these three methods they have given the uh, pageable. So pageable is a uh, pageable is basically used to implement the pagination. So what's the basically pagination? So when you perform some select operation, right? Then you might have a lot of record, a lot lot of results uh, result sets come up with a lot of records. But you would not want to uh, display all records on the same page. Rather, you display the some set of records on the first page and user is willing to see the next set of result then you specific you provide the next button so user has to click the next button to see the next set of records and again if you want to user see the previous set of records then you need to provide the previous button as well so this is just very similar to the when you have a gmail account any kind of uh, emailing system then you specify the uh, uh, next and previous button and that's the pagination basically so pageable helps you to implement pagination now here you can see the return type of these methods so first method has a return type is page of your model class object and second is the slice and third and fourth is having return type the is the list of users right so here uh, I'll take one of example over here and I'll, I'll show you how to perform the pagination. So let's say suppose I am going to proceed with this example, right? And here I, this is the project which I have created in the previous video. So I'm going to make another copy of this project. Uh, I'm going to make another copy of this project uh, with name. Uh, let's paste it over here and I would say so uh, a spring data a spring data pagination demo okay this is the project name I'm going to specify and here i have created a project and eclipse is throwing some error because uh, now maven is going to download all dependency which is required uh, to run this project and see maven dependency folder came out and here all dependent jars has been added in the class path now error has gone now now i'm going to uh, delete most of the codes from here and we'll write most of, the, most of the things from the scratch so here this is our a spring bootstrap class which implements command line runner and that's why we have overridden run method this method will be called automatically so and here we are using the reference of our service class right and this reference will use uh, in this method so what i'll do uh, let me clean all code first of all so i don't require these methods at all now again note the dollar and dollar i'm going to uh, delete these methods as well right so now let's start from main method so here i'm going to create a, a list of person and i would say list and what i'll do i'm i'll i have to create a method in uh, people management service and i would give the method name find by last name 
and first parameter I'm going to specify uh, I'm going to uh, pass uh, last name of the user so that is nothing but the Kumar I'm going to pass and second parameter I'm going to pass payable right which just we have discussed so imports will happen from the arc dot spring framework dot data dot mod domain so payable I'm going to specify so basically uh, now here we'll have to pass the I mean uh, implementation of this payable basically so now what I'll do uh, sorry guys so here you will have to pass the uh, basically uh, implementer of payable payable is an interface so now let's import and let's import it and here basically you will have to pass new uh, page request which is the one of the implement implementation of payable interface page request and here I'm page request is having a lot of constructor three constructor you find so I'm going to use this constructor so if you want to uh, use first constructor then you will have to give the page number so page number basically when you start pagination then, then this page number starts from the zero right and size every page will have some size so that size you have to specify means suppose I specify zero means first page and you specify the size is uh, suppose 4 then page first will contain the 4 records similarly we will have a page size and sort so you can specify the page size as well as sorting mechanism you can specify based on the what property you want sorting and fourth uh, which is the very important that I am going to use here you can specify the page so 0th page I am going to specify and size I am going to specify 4 and direction right so direction basically give you a chance to uh, set uh, I mean uh, based on the I mean you want the ascending order or descending order so let's say ascending order sorting I want and here you need to specify the property on which property one uh, this record should be sorted so I'm going to specify first name first name so in our entity class uh, person we have a first name property is called first name so we want record should be sorted on the based on the first name right now let's create this method in our service class so create method and here this method we want to create so template is created now here I'm going to create a method right uh, find by find by last name and this guy is going to take first parameter is the last name itself last name and second parameter uh, page request so first parameter is the last name and second parameter is the object of page request and of course we need to create this method in our uh, not create but we have to declare this method in here here instead of page request directly passing the implementer you can pass the payable payable and payable is an interface you can see i icon it's a interface and payable and that's it you will have to declare this method you don't need to define this method right now uh, in main method main class let's make a call to this method now this is going to return us list right so let me break this. this is going to return us the list list dot uh, for each method we can apply for each loop we can apply system dot out double colon print ln and uh, let's see let me show you in database so there are four records uh, uh, in our database four there are four records in database there are four persons in our database which is having the last name as kumar right one two three four and let's run this application everything is set up now 
now let's run this application and you'll see how pagination works so we have a single page zero means first page and we want the uh, in first, first page we want the four records and records should be sorted based on the based on the uh, first name and in ascending order and here you can see we got the four records right and the record is sorted based on the first name right so that's the pagination but uh, here if I specify two then what output we are expecting to get so here basically we are saying zero means first page we want the two records so and records should be sorted based on the first name so at, at this time we will get the first two records right first two records but last two will be filtered because page size we have given the two and page number we have given the first zero means first now let's see great so we got the first two records because we have given the page size uh, 2 if I specify the page size 20 then what will happen let's see so we want the page number first and we want the 20 records on the uh, page first but our database contains only 4 records so only 4 records will be displayed so this thing you must understand suppose if I specify the database uh, suppose size uh, 3 and page 2 then what will happen then uh, just you are specifying the size as uh, 3 and page 2 uh, sorry page 2 means 1 right 0 is the first page first so now you will have a two slice first slice first page contains three records and uh, second page contains three records but totally we have a uh, four records in our database whose uh, uh, persons whose last name is uh, Kumar right so only one record will be remaining for the second page so you'll get the only last records so only one records so let me run you run and show you now you got the only one record right because we have specified the page size 2 0 means page sorry page 2 0 means page 1 and 1 means page 2 and we have given the page size 3 so 3 record is basically valid for the zero, zeroth page and uh, uh, for sec zeroth page means first page and remaining only one record we have that's why uh, on page 2 we are getting the only one record so that's the way pagination basically works right so I hope you enjoyed learning this video in this video we have learned how to implement pagination using a spring data so if you go to on the spring data website then you can try yourself you can specify the event return type of uh, this api as page of users even you can specify the slice of users slice basically gives you i mean how many slices are available there so if you have a, a nine records in database and you have given the size of uh, size of uh, size you have given three means uh, and every page will so that will divide it into the three slices right so that's the slice and if you come down then listing query results so you can try these methods yourself these are the method very straightforward right so if you want the you can see the while looking into method name you, you can understand what method basically does saying that query first 10 by last name so basically this will filter the first 10 records based on the uh, based on the uh, last name so that's all about this method this method you can try yourself these methods are very pretty straightforward in uh, when you define or query method in spring data jpa then you can even uh, specify the return as a stream as well so this these things we are going to see in the next video tutorial with live example so please be with me over there and this code i'm going to put on the git, git github so which we have done for the pagination and uh, thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial